Under the Freedom of Information Act, we found out what the Department of Homeland Security's new list of potential terrorist threats are. And many have found that, uh, to their horror, uh, some of them themselves could be considered as a potential terrorist threat when they listed constitutionalists. Uh, they, they listed individuals that buy things with gold, silver, with cash, um, people that oppose the membership in the United Nations, people that oppose illegal immigration, and so on. And we, we think about when we're granting the powers of an indefinite detention for a government to get the bad guys, as we all want to get the bad guys, I, I'm going to ask each and every one of you, does it concern you how easy it is to redefine who the bad guys are? We took great pains to make abundantly clear uh, government cannot indefinitely detain its citizens. I, I don't know how we could have made that any clearer in the NDAA. And just to make it clear, uh, Jeff Landry, Louis Gomer, and some of our other colleagues in the House um, uh, offered an amendment. So uh, the United States government cannot indef indefinitely detain its citizens, period. Secondly, I would say this. If you've ever seen me question Janet Napolitano, I'm probably on the list, too. So uh, I, I'm, look, we discuss any issue we want to discuss. I think the number one issue facing us as a republic is the fact that people have so little trust and confidence in the institutions of government and both parties. The fact that people really do think government would indefinitely detain its own citizens, are, that to me is the biggest problem we have. I'm convinced they cannot, but the fact that there are folks who think that they can may be the biggest challenge that we have. In the interest of time, is there one other leader? Well, uh, I've been on the list. Stayed a long time on the list. And you know how I got on the list? For those who may not know, I met my wife for 52 years in jail because I was on a list. What was my crime? I went to buy a hamburger at a lunch counter. I went to sit in a place I wanted to sit on the bus. So, yes, you get on the list, all depends upon who has the authority. At any given time, the one that they like, what you do? If they don't like you, uh, marching uh, down the street or going, or sitting down at the lunch counter, you get on the list. I've, I've ordered my whatever that thing is they keep on you. And I've been asked to write the letter to have my record expunged. And I told the authorities, I will never write that letter. I wear every one of those arrests as a badge of honor. Congressman Gowdy, the reason why there's mistrust uh, in, in granting these extraordinary powers whether it's drones or whatever uh, tool, is being a student of history, uh, it records that tyrants enjoy this extra power uh, when they're entrusted to keep everyone safe. And I know in a time of war, we, we want to grant these extra powers to keep us safe. But as Benjamin Franklin said, you know, those that uh, uh, would sacrifice their essential liberties for temporary form of security deserve neither. And being a student of history, I'm just concerned about the, the approach we're going. And again, the, the question about the, the naming of who the potential terrorist threats are. Does that concern you about who they're calling a potential terrorist threat? I would just say to our libertarian friends, <clears throat> is a healthy suspicion of government is okay and it makes us free, but there has to be some limit to this, folks. We're at war. How many American citizens are in definite detention today? How many have been killed by a drone? One. All I can tell you is that Guantanamo Bay has served the nation well. The difference, my good friend, between fighting a crime and fighting a war is fundamental. We don't read people caught on the battlefield their Miranda rights because we don't care about how we prosecute them. That's not our first thing we think of. We want to know what does the end of that person know about enemy activity. We are at war. There are people trying to get here as I speak. And the way you keep them from covering is if you find out what they're up to and you have to hit them before they hit you. Do you think these people care about dying? The goal is to stop them. There's been the single bloodiest day in the war on terror was the first day. Washington, D.C., Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and the World 
Trade Center. Ladies and gentlemen, I will not sacrifice an individual's right unless I believe it's for the greater good. And there is no right to get on an airplane without being checked. And nobody's going to jail by going to a Tea Party rally. As much as I disagree with President Obama, I'm not going to sit by and listen to this talk about the President of the United States. Those of you who are trying to scare Americans to believe that somehow war powers are going to run, put a person going to a Tea Party rally or move on .org rally in jail is not fair. There's enough to be afraid of without having to create a false sense of security. Ladies and gentlemen, the country's future is at risk. Radical Islam is a threat to us all. Let's bind together and fight back before it's too late. Thank you, Senator.